take a look at what's happening in Northwest Arkansas. Well, you're invited to uh, join Crystal Bridges in a very, very fun event happening. It's called Wednesdays Over Water. This event is fairly new to me. I was able to participate in February and actually for the event tomorrow, I'll be there as well. But this event is been going on for about 10 or so years. Yeah, since uh, the so museum it happens opened. at Crystal Bridges. It's a casual evening of food, drinks, and conversation featuring handcrafted small plates and expert insights. This month's WOW is a partnership with E.J. Gallo Wine, who uh, will provide wines to sample and enjoy this event taking place tomorrow starting at 6 p.m. You'll enjoy a four-course dinner menu and get to hear from museum curators about works of art currently hanging in the museum. General admission tickets for this event are $89, and let me just tell you, we have a time. Oh, it is totally worth time. it. Yeah, absolutely, 100% worth it. This one also happening in Bentonville. Bentonville First Fridays do return to the square this weekend. Food trucks, multiple family-friendly activities, and local vendors return for this month's event. The event, as always, will take place in and around the downtown square beginning at 11 a.m. and lasting until 9 p.m. The theme for this month is Celebrate Bentonville. Some of the other themes that they have released this season include Petapalooza happening on May 5th, Great Outdoors on July 7th, and the city will end First Friday season with Oktoberfest on October the 6th. All right, well, all the things happening, make sure you mark your calendars for all those fun First Friday events. Now, there's a fun creative workshop happening at the top of Mount Sequoia, which just celebrated 100 years in Fayetteville this weekend. Participants will get to create a classic hinged box using uh, a book board, book cloth, and decorative papers. This workshop will take place on Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. All materials, they're going to be provided in the cost of the class, which is $65. There is limited availability remaining for this class, so if you're interested, make sure you go ahead and sign up now. Yeah, those boxes look beautiful. Also happening this weekend, Walton Arts Center will play host to Sona's Battle of the Bands. Now you can hear it. We had Ben and Austin from Sona on the show last week giving us a sample of the show. The orchestra is going to go head to head with the Fayetteville Jazz Collective with the two groups playing songs individually before coming together for a climactic hybrid outpouring of genre defying music. The event will take place on Saturday starting at 7.30. They sound so good. I'm like bopping they my head. Do. <laughs> There's different levels of tickets, and the, and the <coughs> ticket prices start at $36. Uh, if you miss this concert, you'll only have one more chance to hear Sona this season at Walton Art Center. Their final show, Evoking Folklore, is happening on April 29th. All right. I love that music. We'll have to play a little bit Yeah, it's good. Now, looking ahead, Junior Achievement of Arkansas is helping to prepare the leaders of tomorrow. How can you help continue this legacy? Well, simple a fun game of bowling junior achievement is holding a hero bowl to raise funds for its educational programs individuals and teams of five can sign up to participate in this hero bowl which will be held at fast lanes entertainment in lowell on april the 21st there are two time slots 1 30 to 3 30 and 4 to 6. registration is 40 dollars per bowler and 200 dollars for a full team each team will receive two bowling games food and drinks and I know our Chelsea Helms is going to be serving as honorary chair for this event. Yeah, exciting. The Walmart Amp is on fire. They have announced another show making a stop in Rogers this season. This time it's the All-American Rejects who will headline a show that also features Newfound Glory, Motion City Soundtrack, and the Get Up Kids. The show is going to be on Tuesday, October the 10th. Gates are going to open at 5.30 for the show at 7. Tickets do go on sale to the public at 10 a.m. next Friday, April 14th. Ticket prices for that one start at $35 plus fees. You can purchase four lawn tickets at the same time and get a lawn four-pack for $105 hmm, plus okay. applicable fees. So be sure to check that out when tickets are released next Friday. 